Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna make you fix the map there. So I'm a little bit late, guys, uh, getting in here and doing this video. I want to get in here and do a video because SCS has updated the Freightliner Cascadia with a 2022 model. Um, pretty much, I kind of looked it up. They look the same from what the uh, as far as the outside of the truck as it did the one that was already in the game. But the inside is what has changed. As you see, the, the inside now has the digital dash. This is the 2022 model for the Freightliner Cascadia. We'll close up that menu here just to meet that map. Got the truck all decorated here on the inside. And, we, and, we get, and we're going to go be going up to Las Vegas. We got 305 miles. We're hauling a construction house from Bakersfield, California. So let's get on the road. Go ahead and close that map up. And I know that it's been out for a little bit, but I just have not had a chance to get in here and do a video. And also, they have released some dump trailers. I'm going to do some, a video over that, but I'm not going to use this truck. Because it doesn't look right to use this truck for that kind of video. Uh, not to me, anyways. Turn right. Those types of trailers to me. You don't see trucks like this hauling dump trailers too much, so... Hope that was doing well. Hope uh, have a, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. I'm sorry, I can't talk this morning. It's early in the morning. First thing in the here recording. Still asleep, I guess. Well, hope on. everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's been enjoying the content. Um, LSPD Far is and coming will be coming back. Um, had to reinstall. That's what I've been working on. That's why I haven't been in no videos. Still got a little bit more to do. I haven't got everything back reinstalled, but I am working on it. We're speeding you, sir. And uh, I'll go over the options for the truck once we drop this load. We can uh, always do that. I like to do that and. Uh, a lot of you guys like that, so I'm going to do that with Go the uh, with the Cascadia. If you have not heard, if you did not get to see, I did not get to see it, but I did see pictures. The SCS has teased another truck. It will be coming in uh, 2022, um, early, with the International um, 9900i. Uh, it will be the next truck that will be coming, uh, which is really that we're going to have three international trucks. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Um, I do like the digital dash. Now, there are some, some mods out there. To fix issues that with the dash um, that you can uh, with the digital part to make it more realistic from what the, the what the real thing looks like in the real truck. Um, I'm not using one right now because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like from SCS. Um, I do like it though. I know a lot of these trucks are going to that now. Still getting a little bit of that lag. I'm looking into that too and trying, still trying to find out where that's coming from. Um, still using the MHA Pro map. Uh, I have not uh, quit using that. It has not been updated to 1.4.3 yet, but it does still work. Today is running a Detroit diesel, uh, 600 horsepower with an 18-speed 8 and 4. We're 
we'll go ahead and get a thumbnail. Go ahead and do that right now. Cause we're gonna need one. We'll go ahead and do that. Bring it up just in front right here just a little bit. We'll do a video like I said with the dump trailers uh, I have not done one yet uh, it may not be right away uh, when I get a chance to get back in here and do uh, some more I have some requests to do some more real company runs and that's one reason the one thing I guess still got to work on too and with these trucks getting updated uh, I really would like to see the Aaron I mean the uh, Kenworths and the Peterbilt's get updated though that's the ones I'm waiting to see what they're gonna do Or even even a new Peterbilt or Kenworth truck. Because most likely they'll do like what they done with this one with the with the T680 and the 579. They'll just do like the update, maybe change the, the option to give you a different hood and you know in, interior wise. Gonna be taking a little bit of time off after I get these videos here done uh, for the first of the year. I'm gonna try to get these uploaded before Christmas, and then after I get them uploaded, I'm gonna take uh, the rest of it until after the first of the year. Take the rest of the time off for the holidays. He just uh, slid his way in there, didn't he? He said, I'm coming over. All right, dude. Are still using uh, Johnny Cash his sounds, his flicker sounds, um, his interior sounds in the truck and everything. button first thing. I love hitting the wrong button. 221 miles to get. Throw the window down. Hear that? This may be a, de a default sound for this Detroit diesel.
stay straight here. I believe it is a default sound. I'd look at changing that engine up. Every time I hit the wrong button. 158 miles ago. Well, maybe we can get some more snow. Sorry about that, guys. I don't mean to hit the. I'm trying to look at the mileage and I hit the wrong button. So, like I said, guys, we will be doing. I will do videos on the new trailers. Um, it's going to be a little bit before I get to it, probably. Um, I need to also do videos on ETS too. There's two new trucks that come out over there. I want to make videos of that. For those two new trucks. Now over there we will probably use most, most definitely use the dumpers over there. Um, you know because the trucks are smaller and stuff like that. So it work really good. I don't really see trucks like this hauling dumper trailers. Or something over there. And then, guys, also, I'm, I'm, I don't know yet. I may go to jurisdiction four for LSPD car. I'm still looking into that. If I want to do that, I, I'm thinking about doing it. Not positive yet. Um, that is something that I'm playing with. I would not do five right now. Uh, there's just, there's not enough cars out there. 
to do five. I enjoy doing Gear 6 and 5, but I think I enjoy 4 better because it gives the the whole city, you know, it's covered by LSPD and you can uh, kind of work on other things. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm not sure yet exactly what I'm going to do. If I do that, if, if I do go back to 5, it'll be sometime next year. Because um, as of right now, you know, LSP is not going nowhere. GK6 is not close to coming out, so we're, we're not worried about that right this minute. We're about driving this beautiful truck. Also, I had some questions about Call of Duty. I was going to record Call of Duty, but uh, I use Shadowplay. And for some reason, it not being a Steam game, um, I was using Shadowplay. And I had a lot of issues with it. I had issues where it had no sound. You would record it. It had no sound. It would, um, now this is what it, I haven't tried to record it now. I would, I would have to completely start the game over to record it now, but... This is when it first came out. It had no sound. Um, it had lots of issues with Shadowplay that was keeping it from recording. Um, and so I, I decided not to do it. And I can't get Battlefield uh, the new Battlefield to work. I'm going to reinstall it and see if something's going on. Um, every time you go to launch it, it says the launcher has uh, timed out. So I don't know what's going on with that. There's an issue. And, they, and, they, and they've done multiple updates. And, it has a fixed issue, so it's something to do with the origins uh, EA's or, uh, launcher. Why do I hit the wrong button every time? All right, we got 67 miles to go. Yeah, it's something to do with their launcher. Is what's going on with it? And I don't mean to hit the wrong button. I, I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm trying to look at the mileage and I keep hitting the wrong button. So do apologize for that. We're out of California. We got that speed now.
And I do apologize for the lag. I'm st I am looking into all this lag. I'm going through some of the traffic mods and stuff to see if there's just something that is causing the lag. I've already turned off the trailer pack because I had issues with well, the trailer pack made it crash um, when you have it around Salt Lake City, so I turned it off. It hasn't crashed since, but still got some lag, so I'm still looking into that. Uh, more real company runs will be coming guys. I'm uh, I'm working on that too Very soon we will be doing another one Turn left. One of the low distribution sir How y'all doing? I got a uh, construction trailer for y'all today. One over there. Okay.
Don't know if we're gonna be able to do it from the inside. I'm gonna try, but it being dark like this, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see it. Make sure. Oh yeah, I think we'll think we'll be good. Yeah, looks good. Doing bad. I think we can pull. I think we can straighten it up a little bit. No trailer is on that side, so that's good. Yep. Turn right on that line. I think it'll be okay. Alright, we drove excellent. We drove 305 miles. It took us 7 hours and 8 minutes to get there. We consumed 41.7 gallons of fuel. And we're going to do no. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you the options for the truck. I get a lot of uh, uh, you guys that like that, so we're going to do that. I'm going to show you the new options for the freight ladder. Okay. So, I mean, pretty much nothing on the outside has changed. It's still the same truck on the outside. They didn't uh, really change anything out here. Um, but when you go inside the cab... The new, it says, right here, it says, uh, 2020, and it has two new interior options, right here, you know, you have your gray and your tan, um, this is your regular one that was already with a truck, they come out, all that's still there, as you can see, if you don't like the digital dash, and you still want to use that, it's still there, so you don't have to worry about that, they didn't remove none of that, they left all that in, so, which is a good option to have as far as that goes and um, and then the trailer we got two new trailers with the last update you can go in here to purchase trailer you have the small little end dumper here um, not really a lot of options you know but it does have it is on an operator trailer now and it has its own loads which is awesome to see 
and then you have the bottom dumper which is a little bit bigger trailer we will be running loads on, on both of them I'm gonna use a different truck though I'm not gonna use this one uh, I don't I don't see this kind of truck hauling a trailer like that so um, it, but it does have options it has um, this one has a 28 footer 40 footer a 45 footer with three axles uh, you can do your paint jobs uh, you can customize it look like your truck these on rock rider uh, SCS trucks and trailers that they, they all match with color that's no issue um, you have a few options as far as you can paint this or have aluminum you can have um, extra flaps on it if you want to do that uh, this is for lighting on the side your uh, wheel options uh, your extenders in the back you know, make the lights more look better this is all your wheel options I do have some mods in here for wheels so <clears throat> you won't see some of these like what I have in here also like for the rims same thing you won't see the uh, all these in because some of these are mods but that is pretty much it guys for the update for the Freightliner Cascadia um, so yeah um, I want to say thank you to everyone for watching the videos I want to say and at the end of this video, I want to say to um, thank you for everyone this year that has subscribed to the channel and everyone has supported the channel uh, in helping us get where we are today. Uh, I am still working on trying to get more content out. Uh, I have been playing some other games on the channel. They're not doing very well, so I don't know if I'm going to keep uh, recording them if I'm not getting anyone watching them. So that's kind of the way that goes. Uh, but I want to say everyone that has subscribed and has supported and commented and everything on the, on the videos. I want to say thank you for that. And everyone have a happy uh, holidays and a happy new year to everyone out there. And um, have a good day.